Hi everyone, in this video we'll cover the three main settings of our plugin to represent your salon's availability. They are booking rules, assistant setup, services setup. Let's say that you are a barber shop owner with three seats and three assistants where you provide three services, each one with a different duration. Now let's see the correct setup. Go to Salon Booking System, Settings, Booking Rules. Open the Availability mode and select Advanced. With this option, the total length of a reservation is the sum of the length of the booked services. As you have three seats and three assistants, this means that you can accept up to three reservations at the same time. Then select 3. Then make sure to enable the change order option. This way the booking process will start from services selection, then assistant selection, and the calendar will display only the available slots for the services assistant combination. Let's say that you allow a reservation from a minimum of 30 minutes to a maximum of 2 months in advance. This is the correct setup of the booking time range option. Remember, the wider is the option for the maximum parameter, the slower will be the calculation process. Keep it as short as possible. Now let's see how to set up your weekly opening hours. Let's say you are open from Monday to Friday, from 9 to 1 pm and from 3 to 8 pm and on Saturday you are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Let's go back to our settings and open the online available days section. Here we need to create a new rule and select from Monday to Friday. Then set the opening and closing hours 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Second shift 3 pm to 8 pm. Then we need to add a new rule because on, on Saturday you are open from 9 am to 8 pm. No break, so no second shift. We finished for now. Now let's talk about your assistant setup. We said you have three assistants and they provide the following services. Mark, haircut, beard trim and shampoo. Paul, haircut, beard trim. Louis, only haircut. Let's see how you need to set up each one. Mark provides all services, so you don't need to enter anything here. Just leave it empty. Let's move to Paul. Paul provides haircut and beard trim, so we need to select these two services only. Now it's time to set up Luis. Luis only provides haircut, then we only select this service. Unlike the other two assistants, he works only on Saturday from 9 am to 6 pm. Then we need to add two rules like this. The first one, no day selected. Then we add the second rule where we select Saturday and set the start and end time. This combination of two rules means that he works only on Saturday. Remember, we don't need to set any booking rule for the other assistants as they follow the shop schedule. Now it's time to set an important parameter that defines the services availability. It's called units per session. That is defined by the number of customers that can be attended at the same time for a specific service. In this scheme, we can understand how we should set the units per session for each of our service. As we have three assistants that can provide haircut, then we need to set units per session equals to three. While we have only two assistants that can provide bird trim, we'll set two units per session. Only one assistant can provide shampoo, 
Then we need to set one as units per session. We have finally completed the basic setup to generate the correct availabilities for our booking calendar. I hope this tutorial will be useful. If you want to share a feedback with us, please leave a comment.